Thank you for adding Sican Hydrum C61 instrument washer to your practice. This compact tabletop or undercounter automated instrument washer with a responsive 3.5 inch touchscreen provides a safe, effective, and efficient way to clean instruments. The Hydrum C61 instrument washer is a clinical reprocessing device that minimizes physical handling of contaminated instruments, reducing the risk of sharps injury and creating a safer work environment. Every set of instruments receive the same validated cleaning process with each cycle by dosing the correct amount of detergent. This allows instruments to immediately be transferred to the next step of instrument reprocessing, sterilization. Your Hydrum C61 instrument washer comes with the following items. Statum 5000 basket. Basket with hinged lid. Three cassette, two basket rack. Pouch of hip ultra solution. USB. Bag of salt. Water test kit. Operator's manual. Let's start by turning on the machine. If your Hydrum has not been connected to the G4 network, please follow the steps to connect your machine and complete your online registration. By connecting to the G4 network, you can easily access cycle data, maintenance information and service logs from your smart devices or computer. Please make sure to remove all restorative composite and bonding material chairside. Safely transport instruments from the operatory in a properly marked container. Never leave dirty instruments to dry more than 10 minutes before cycle. Use P1 rinse and hold program when required. Hydrum is designed to reprocess high quality stainless steel and plastic instruments. Not all instruments and cassettes are compatible with a Hydrum. Do not reprocess dissimilar metals, such as ultrasonic inserts, carbide burrs, and aluminum, anodized, or chrome-plated instruments. Depending on the type of instruments, place them either in instrument cassettes or in one of the baskets that came with your hydrum. Place trays and other concave-shaped items at an angle to ensure water can run off surfaces easily. Never place cassettes flat in the loose instruments area. When placing cassettes in the hydrum, make sure that they do not block the wash arms. Once the hydrum is loaded with instruments, you can close the door. Make sure you hear a solid thump as the door closes. If not, your cleaning solution tubing may be pinched in the door. Hydrum comes with three pre-programmed cycles. P1, rinse and hold, for rinsing off heavy debris or keeping the instruments wet. P2, regular wash cycle. Run this cycle when you only have loose instruments and no cassettes in the hydrum. P3, heavy duty wash cycle. Designed for washing load with instrument cassettes. For this type of full load, we will select P3, heavy duty wash cycle program. Press the start button to start the cycle. You will see the time it will take to finish the cleaning process. Once the cycle is complete, press OK to release the door. Cycle data is automatically stored in the memory and can be accessed later. You can also copy the cycle data on a USB stick and transfer it to a computer for logging purposes. In case of a power outage, there is a manual release mechanism located on the top edge of the door. The instruments are now washed successfully and ready to be pouched or wrapped for sterilization in Statum, Statclave or Bravo. Doing simple daily checks will make sure your Hydrum is always running smoothly. Review the operator's manual to get step-by-step -step instructions for these checks. Chambers coarse filter should be removed, inspected and cleaned. The two wash arms should be checked for debris and cleaned if necessary. Make sure there are no leaks around the unit. You will see a message, replace air filter after every 750 cycles. 
HEPA filter is located inside the kick plate below the front door. Replace the filter and reset the drying counter to zero. Sometimes you might see a red X on one of the icons on the main screen. Press the icon to determine if the hip cleaning solution needs to be replaced or the water softener refilled. To replace the hip cleaning solution, turn the power switch off. Open the cleaning solution door. Disconnect the cleaning solution connector. Remove any dried chemical by immersing the connector in a cup of water. Remove the empty cleaning solution container and discard or recycle. Connect new container and insert into the cleaning solution compartment. Follow the instructions printed on each cleaning solution container. Close the door. Turn the power switch on. To prime the cleaning solution dosing pump, press the water softener detergent icon on the main screen. In the water softener detergent screen, press the red X next to detergent. The unit will prime the dosing system and a green check mark will appear in place of the red X when it is ready for use. If the water softener needs to be refilled, a red X will appear next to it. To refill the water softener, unscrew the white cap inside the chamber. Fill salt until the salt chamber is full. Add water as needed in the salt chamber. Close the salt container lid, ensuring a tight seal. Every month, or every 25 cycles, you need to clean the chamber. You can either use a decalcifying powder or vinegar to complete the chamber cleaning cycle. Please refer to your user manual to get step-by-step -step instructions. You can find more features and options in the operator's manual that make the washing process easy and efficient. Never turn off the hydrum. Always leave it turned on for additional safety reasons. Thank you again for choosing SciCan as your infection control specialist.